Hey, what's up, guys? JDVM here with the lights a little funny. It's a little, my little desk lamp right here. So if I look a little funny, that's what it is. But, but anyway, you see the video. You see the, the video here. You see the title. I got three, actually four, great games for $20 at a fucking garage sale because these people here in San Antonio clearly have no idea what the fuck they have. They don't, they just don't have no idea what the fuck they have. So I just went in there, raped her in her fucking ass, and you say, you know what? Give me these games right here. Actually, I got seven games. Um, three NES, one uh, N64, which is obviously Super Mario 64, as you see in the title, and uh, three SNES. So, god damn, I'm fucking ecstatic right now, as you can tell. But, alright, so first game here, we'll start with uh, Ninja Gaiden, as you see in the title. Uh, Ninja Gaiden, see that there, and uh, as you can see here, a little bit of wrinkle there. For the uh, game, but the game works, and all these games work, by the way. But the game works. A little bit of wrinkle on the on the cover art, but uh, it is good. Second game here, which is not in the title. Let me just put this down here. Second game, which is not in the title of this video, which I'm pretty fucking happy as well. Simon Quest Castlevania 2. Now the game's not good, but hell, this is the only Castlevania game I needed to complete my collection. I don't have Dracula X, so that's the only one I don't have, but. Um, I have, uh, 1 through 3 on NES, and I have Super Castlevania 4. Dracula X, good lord, if I have fucking $500 to spend on that game, I know it's not $500, probably like $200 or something, but if I had $200 to, to spend on that game, I would, but pretty happy about this. Third game here, Dick Tracy, nothing special about it, you know, Dick Tracy's fine. Actually, the cover art is probably the best one I have out of all the games. I mean, it looks flawless, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, look at that. That looks flawless on the cover art. But, uh, yeah, Dick Tracy. Super Mario 64. Only little thing is wrong with that is right there. That's the only bad thing wrong with that. But, other than that, game works fine. You know, it, it plays fucking good. There's, there's no slowdown or nothing. Because uh, there's there's sometimes where these games here, especially the N64 games, where they experience slowdown over time, it will, due to people not keeping up to uh, up to date with it with maintenance and stuff. So uh, it's good to see that this game is still working pretty good. So pretty happy about that. And if the game did have slowdown, I got this for twenty dollars, twenty fucking dollars, people. You have you guys have no idea. If you guys don't actually collect games, you just probably use like emulators and stuff. This in a regular market will run you for forty dollars. Dick Tracy probably run you five ten dollars. Simon's Quest twenty twenty five dollars. Ninja Gaiden twenty twenty five dollars. So you get where I'm going here with this. So with these, the first four games I showed you is at least a hundred dollars. Now this game here, A Legend of Zelda: A Link to the Past, will run you fifty fucking dollars, maybe sixty five for some people in a regular market. This is a $50 game. A $50 game. It works just fine. As you can see here, also on this side. As you can see, there's a little, you know, little crap in there. But it's okay. The game works. It works so good. The, the actual, the sticker on the cover art, it is pretty good. It's near, nearly, not not as good as the Dick Tracy, but it is pretty good. That, that Some stuff on the uh, cover art, you can't really see. The uh, camera don't pick up on it, but... But, god damn it, man. I'm so happy right now. And the last two games to round out with. First game here. Super Super Godzilla. Fun little game. It's okay. Not really. It kind of sucks a little bit. But, I picked it up. This game will probably run you $5, $10 in a regular market. And the last game here. I'm not really too excited about it. Because, yes, it is Double Dragon. It's Double Dragon 5. But, it's not like a regular Double Dragon beat -em up It's more of a fighter. And, um... Yeah, I got it. You know, this will probably run about fifteen, twenty dollars in a regular market. So fifteen, twenty dollars, about ten dollar game here. Fifty to sixty five dollars here. Forty to fifty here on Super Mario sixty four. Dick Tracy again about ten. Um, Ninja Gaiden for about uh, fifteen, twenty, twenty five. Then uh, Simon's Quest as well about fifteen, twenty, twenty five. This so is about all together about 150 to 175 dollars worth of, you know, games here. The actual worth of it for all for 20 dollars. Unbelievable. I'm so fucking happy right now. You guys have no idea. But um, 
If you want to see me play one of these games for the uh, on my JD Venom, JD Venom plays, let me know. Um, but until until then, I will see you guys later. Please rate, please subscribe, please drop a comment, and I will be doing more of these pickup videos from now on because I just want to show you some games I've been be collecting uh, here. And uh, eventually, I will show you my full video game collection. But I'm not to that point yet. I don't want I don't want to show off all my games yet. Um, not to that point yet, but the the collection is growing fast. So I'll see you guys there. You guys have a great day. Peace out.